Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. We're gonna do it again. We are gonna test the insulation theory one last time. Like Mythbusters, you have to prove it. And the first video was just talked about it and I made the insulation. The second video was actually testing it. We found it didn't work. So now I do not want anybody to say that we did not use the right product, okay? The Reflectix Silver, the exact same one that they say on cloudy nights and a closed tube this time. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I want to put this thing to rest and I want to be 100% sure. I don't want people to say, well, you didn't do it wrong. Your refractor, it was opened at the end, so heat could have escaped and that's why you got the images. Maybe the heat's going down towards the eyepiece. So I didn't use it on an SCT or a Mac. That's normally what they say. And I used a rubber type of thing, even though this is so much thinner. This is like, uh, I don't know. Uh, come here, let me, oh my God, how? This is really like a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch thick or whatever it is thinner. So I don't see how this would be as good as the rubber, but this is what they talk about all the time on the forums. It's this product. <laughs> Okay, I got the one that was uh, six inches wide and I'll even, if I have enough material, I'm gonna wrap it twice because I read that some people wrap it twice. So this thing is really thin. It kind of looks like, almost like bubble or that bubble wrap, but it's aluminum kind of foil type. Okay, so this is the product. This is the scope that they say a closed Mac or SCT. So now, even though this is a six inch, it doesn't matter, okay? So we are going to screw this theory down or we're going to nail this theory. Whatever happens, we're gonna figure it out just like the, the Mythbusters day. We tested it, people said it wasn't exactly and that's why it didn't work. So now I order this, I have this guy, we're gonna test it out. So there is no way, if it doesn't work again, this theory does not work. If any of you guys want to put it on the SCT forum and put like, hey, this guy, I am not a member and I cannot um, go on there, that's all I'll say. Uh, but anyway, if one of you guys wants to put it on there, be all means, but tell them to watch part one where I talk about Takahashi, where I'm gonna build it, then I show you guys it, then we test it, and then this one. That way they have a, a backbone or a story that they can see the first part, the second part, the test, and now this one will be the final conclusion, okay? I wanna put this to rest. I don't wanna do it another time after this. And this is why I got everything that they say. Only put it on fast forward again, and we're gonna start taping this guy Totally. So this time I can do the full thing and even the back. I've seen how they just cut around here, the diagonal and the focuser. Nobody covers this part, the diagonal. We're going to try it one more time and see what happens because I still, like a few of you guys told me, don't think it's possible. I heard you guys and I kind of agree with you guys. But this is what they say on Cloudy Nights for several years. This has already been debunked and there's no cool down time if you wrap it. And this is what they're talking about. I didn't think any, uh, uh, any type of other insulation would be a big deal, especially when my rubber is probably like six times thicker than this, or probably, no way. My, my rubber is an inch thick. It's probably 10 times the, this. Anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, guys.
Okay, so this is my first piece. So I cut around the Vixen bar. Okay, and I cut around the finder scope. And I just put two pieces of tape temporarily. And we're gonna just do the next piece. And then I'll do the back. And there we go. Okay, there's the second piece, and then I'm all actually going to overlap this, and then the third piece is going to go, I've seen people, how they do it on the videos, it's kind of like it protrudes m longer, like a dew shield, so I'm going to go, looks like it's going to be about uh, five inches uh, over, so I'm doing it exactly, and then we'll do the back. Guys, so it's coming along. As you can see, the tube is now done. And I even put, this is tuck tape, which is really strong. So I am taping because there's three pieces. Uh, so that way it doesn't come apart or open up. This is kind of what, what it looks like in the forearms as well. So that's exactly what it looks like. If you guys want to take a look, you can look on uh, Cloudy Nights under that. I just have to do the back and we're done. So that's about it. So I do have quite a bit left, more than half, I would say. I still gotta do the back, but I think I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna overlap it again. I did stagger, okay, where the seams are. So if the one below, let's say, is around here, the seam, I'm actually making the seam on a different location so that air has less place or it can't escape from the seam. Hopefully that makes sense. You know, really, like I said in that last video, I think to make it absolutely 100% like it works, is you actually need to do three telescopes. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a six inch SCT or Mac or an eight inch uh, SCT, but it has to be three of the same size, one in this, real reflectex what they say one in any other uh, insulation uh, and then one just bare with the same power with the same item that you're looking at and then it'll be solid proof that it works until then until somebody uses the three same scope and it can't be like a mead sct it, let's say for instance an eight inch it can't be an eight inch mead sct the eight inch eight se from celestron and then a different ultima or whatever has to be all the same so if you're gonna do an eight inch sct let's say you get three eight inch scts from celestron and let's say the same model the se model okay and the reason is because for instance you can't do mead and celestron both at the same time because mead uses an oversized prim primary mirror so under eight inch i believe it's an eight and a quarter inch so which means it's a bigger mirror. It's gonna retain more heat. So that won't be exactly. So either you use the same three mead ones or the same, um, you know, celestron one, whichever one they wanna do, okay? Okay guys, I think I am done. And I still even have some material left. And I'm gonna show it to you in one second. I have a little bit left. I could probably wrap it up another third time, but then I'm not sure I could even attach the um, Vixen bar back. But you know what, I'm not gonna do it more than twice. I've seen people do it twice. Some people do it once only. And I think twice is more than enough. Okay, so here we go. So here's the back. I cut around the focuser, around the, the diagonal. So it's a nice, perfect cut around the hole, around the finder scope. Okay, it's gonna protrude about five inches or so. Uh, that's what they show. It's double thick layer, and we're probably gonna use it on, 
I'm just gonna use it on the SV Boney uh, Altazimuth there. And when it's a clear night, it might be clear tomorrow. Okay, so that's it for this part. If it's clear tomorrow, I'm gonna put the Vixen rail back on, put it on that mount, go outside. We're gonna test it on Jupiter because we'll know if it actually works. So it should, if this theory again works, we're gonna look at Jupiter and then when we're gonna, I'm gonna try to rip it off as fast as I can. Maybe I'll bring a knife or something and the image should get worse because if it's not thermal ready, it means it's gonna have turbulence. Okay, this is supposed to protect it from the turbulence by not having a differential between the outside temperature and the inside temperature. It's supposed to keep that heat inside and not let it escape. So that's what they say. Check it out if you want on cloudy nights under the SCT. And if you look and look at uh, insulation or insulating an SCT, you'll find it and you'll see people that it looks exactly like that. So the update or the next part will be us testing and we're gonna do it one more time, one final time. We're gonna nail the coffin if it's true or not. This time we're using the SCT, it's a closed tube. Now we have all the sides totally covered. So there's gonna be no way that someone's gonna say, well, your refractor near the focuser, it was opened, the bottom part, half of it, because I have to use the focuser, right? This one, it's exactly sealed, it's, uh, five, six inches over the front, and it's two layered of this stuff, and it's an enclosed, and we're using this real Reflectix uh, material. So there should be no way, it's either gonna be yes or no, and we're gonna find out. Be back. I wanted to show you, so it's on this mount. I think it'll work very fine. If the moon is out, when I test it, uh, actually it's gonna be very late, the moon, so I don't know if I could do the moon, um, but this is what it looks like on this mount so it should work fine i'll take the cap off of course and uh that's how it looks hey guys welcome back to the channel you know it's your friend joe jaguar and it's a clear night jupiter is high in the sky but it's still now starting to head down so i just took it out right now i turned on the video so i want to look at jupiter guys so i found jupiter and i got the flash on so let me try to focus. And as you guys can see, I'm using the SV Boney. Uh, what is it, uh, 225 AZ mount. Okay, I see Jupiter kind of small. It's only a 32 millimeter, so let me bump up the power. Okay, let's put an 18 millimeter made super wide eyepiece just to get a little bit more power. Okay, I found it. Now, because I'm not using an EQ mount and it's not driven, it's gonna exit the field of view a little faster. Okay, I mean, it looks okay-ish. Again, I just took it out. I see some flaring, one big flare coming out of Jupiter, and then it looks a little bit mushy. I'm going to defocus and see how the donut uh, looks like. Okay, it's not a perfect donut, but it's close. But also when you defocus, there's a lot of turbulence on it. Okay, let me go get an exacto knife. Now we're gonna cut this out and look at it and see if it gets worse, the same, or better. Okay, here we go. nothing on it now we're gonna have to refine Jupiter and let's see okay so I found Jupiter again that big long flare is really really much less I would say 90% less Go back to the same IP same power it's not really much better I don't really see too much of a difference with the insulation on and the insulation off it's not a great view of Jupiter but I would expect it not to be so great right now because it's not, cool down is not happening, but it didn't really help. Uh, I can't really tell, you know what? Okay, hold on, hold on. 
Let me just study it a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I can't really tell too much of a difference. So it's not like the image got so much worse or better. Um, it kind of looks even. So I don't see how the insulation did absolutely nothing. This time it's an SCT. This time it's this Reflectix aluminum and I did two rolls of that, staggered everything. And it looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, I bet you if I leave this for at least 30, 40 minutes, then probably the image would keep getting better and better. I could see kind of just a hint of the two red stripes. Now, I'm not very high power. I'm only at an 18 millimeter. Just like the Mythbusters, okay, guys? That's the end of that. I'm not doing any more testing uh, with this insulation. To me, it doesn't look like it's worth it. i rather just let it cool down naturally how it's supposed to. I don't really see any difference at all. You know, it looked uh, pretty much about the same. So it can't be coincidence. Maybe the people that do it think it's better. You know, maybe, because, maybe by the time they take out the telescope, take out the tripod, take out their eyepieces, take out all their accessories, it's actually cooling down. But going directly on, today was the last time when I did the six inch Takahashi. It was minus 13, remember? Minus 13 with the wind chill said minus 18. Today was plus three, and that's in February, which is rare in Canada. Um, but now it's nighttime. It might be like with the wind chill minus three or, or something like that. So I know a couple of people said, was it because it was too cold? So today is not as cold. It, it, it could be at least 10, 12 degrees Celsius uh, more warmer than last time. Still a bit chilly. I don't see any difference. So I am going to say like the Mythbusters. I don't think it helps, but I don't think there's any benefit to it either. That's it. That's all I could say. Or if it has to be only mild weather, what's the point? You know what I mean? That's it, guys. I say it's busted. That's it. It's the final nail in the coffin. If those people on cloudy nights want to say it works, then they continue to say it works. I tried this this real aluminum stuff. I tried the other stuff, which was 10 times thicker. I still is the same outcome. On that one, I was able to tell it was a bit worse. This one, I kind of can't tell. It's about even to me, but that's okay, guys. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting into astronomy, share my link. If you're on the forums and you want to post this video, you can post it if you like. And on the SCT forums about insulation, I don't care. Do it. And then we'll see what uh, they, they, um, they're going to say. Also have members, a video, and I put one video once a month and I put your name on the description. Okay, guys, why not you? Why not me? I hope you liked all these tests because like that, now that's garbage. Uh, because I wanted to rip it out right away to see the difference. I didn't want to spend 10 minutes. 15 minutes taking it out because then I wouldn't get a good, uh, you know, wouldn't be accurate. Okay, guys, that's it. I'll see you later.